Yeah, good day, viewers. I just came across uh, this uh, disturbing update from uh, one of uh, the Maze Namdekanos lawyers. You know, from uh, Barrister Maxwell Opara, to be precise, where he's saying that um, on getting to DSS office, all the Maze Namdekanos lawyers were ordered not to enter the DSS premises. Just imagine, imagine that kind of a thing. And on trying to find out what really happened, they were told that it's an order from above. What kind of a country is this? What are we doing? What are these people doing? What do they really want from this young man, Maze Namdekano? Anyway, before I get into anything, just come down, listen to what that barrister, Maxwell Obara, said himself. Hear from the horse's mouth. I'll be right back. My people, uh, come closer. This is uh, an update. I'm just from DSSS now. Today being uh, Monday, 23rd day of October, 2024. I went to see Nanekal again with my colleagues. Uh, remember that I updated you the other day, that was last week, that we went to see him. So they said that uh, we are in the receptionist, we are at the reception. So we waited there from 1 p.m. till 5 p.m. They now asked us that we should go, that we cannot see him. We asked them why. They said that the order is from above, that we can check another day. So, and we normally see him. The order of court is that we should be seeing Nandekalo three times every week. That is Monday, Wednesday, and uh, and uh, what do you call it? And uh, Friday. But today, being Monday, 23rd, uh, being uh, Wednesday, 23rd day of October, we went to see him. The, that, the last one went there. The last one went there. They, they allow us inside at the receptionist and uh, at the reception and the access to park outside but today they outrightly rejected us from coming inside they mounted their people on the, at the gate and the instruction is that none of the Carlos lawyer should be allowed to come inside so not even to see him so the reason for that i don't know i don't know whether whether nana Kalo is still alive i don't know whether he's still with them i don't know where they have taken him to Tomorrow being 24th day of September, we'll make it complete one month. Because I saw him last, tomorrow being 24th, 24th day of October, we'll make it one month. Because I saw him last on uh, on uh, September 24th. Since that, when, when uh, he, he came to court last, since that time up to now, no communication whatsoever. This is the this is the document I, I, I want to come and show him in respect of preparing the, the his documents. Uh, the things that he... Uh, we feel that we can file in court that now they did not allow us access. Nandekalu is the only person now as we speak now uh, that is facing um, a criminal trial without a lawyer. No date for the court in the, in the Federal High Court. No access to his lawyer. So when I left to be assessed, I decided to come and see Attorney General. This is Minister of Justice. I'm making this video from the of, Minister, of, uh, Minister of Justice. But I was unable to see the Minister for Justice. Because I don't see why we should have this building here that called the Minister of Justice. If we should have this, this building here, I don't have Minister for Justice. And this injustice is happening in a country. It means that we are in Panama Republic. So, and uh, the actions that we should not be coming. That's what the DSSS guy said, that we should not be coming. Uh, that we are not going to see the call again. I hear them say, that's what the DSSS I said for what? So that is the position for now. I will continue to update you. Uh, we, have five, we have commenced uh, content... Uh, uh, proceedings against the new director DSSS. So let's see how it will go. Thank you. We'll continue to update you. I believe uh, you heard everything this man said in this video. That's one of uh, the Maze and Kanus lawyers, Barrister Maxwell Opera. You know, and uh, to me, I think uh, this is becoming more like a business of manipulation. Yes, because uh, I don't understand what the federal government of Nigeria is doing with this particular um, young man. I don't understand where, as in where this case is headed, what they, are, what they really want from this particular young man, because I've said this a couple of times and I will still say it again. That man is not the problem of Nigeria. Namdekano is not the problem of Nigeria. The problem of Nigeria knows themselves. Most of all these people holding this young man down knows what they are supposed to do to control everything. They know what they are supposed to do even to stop that agitation that used to come up from different angles. You know, just recently, Sunday, Iboho uh, submitted a petition somewhere, and so many other people did what they did 
and today most of all those people are free but this particular man Mazi Namdekano is still there in detention okay that is still there in detention is not even the major problem now the major problem now is that the lawyer the lawyers of that same person has been stopped from coming to see him what kind of injustice is this instead of fighting the insecurity instead of fighting all the problems that the country have they, 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 as in they abandon all of those things and are very much more focused on the case of this particular man, Maz Namdekano. This is, this, is, this, is, this is not good at all. This is not good at all. Honestly. I just want to uh, kind of uh, call the attention of uh, everybody from Igbo land. I want to call the attention of my people, Ndibo, to know what to do about this particular issue. All these Igbo leaders, all these Igbo politicians, there has been some kind of accusing fingers, some kind of accusations from different directions that most of our people are involved uh, as in some of the reasons why this young man is still there in that detention. I did not want to believe that, but it kept coming out from different uh, sources that um, at least are supposed to be trusted. You know, we have to really do something to control all of these things because I so much believe that. If this man is released, if this man Maz Namdekano is released from detention, a lot of most of all those things going on in the southeastern part of Nigeria negatively will come down. That situation will be arrested. Because most of all those people using his name to commit most of those mayhem in that southeastern part of Nigeria will have to vanish. You know, because they are doing all those things and succeeding because the person they are using his name is not out, is not outside. That is just the issue. So to me, I think our people have to do everything possible to make sure that they get this man released from that DSS detention. Because as everybody can see, it is that as in the case is facing a different direction now. Honestly. And this is one of the men, one of the loud voices, one of the lions that we will never want to miss in Igbo land. Honestly. I do not want to say much about this. I just came across this video and decided to bring it on for a lot of people to see what is really happening, where the case we are talking about is headed. You know, and uh, for people that matters, for everybody that can do anything to do what they can do before it gets too late. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you so much for sharing our videos. I still remain your man, Morris Nguyen the top class media. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you.